my screen broke on my camera. That is the worst. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Everybody should be in the notes. Again, all you have to do is click on the green or the tan box and then just start typing, guys. That's it. You don't have to worry about, oh, no, am I, if I hit enter, is it going to give me another number? Is it going to give me something else? No, you don't have to worry about that. In Excel, it deals with the cells. So it'll be very easy to navigate through. Okay? So, in ecosystem, here's, your, here's the question. What is the ecosystem? What is an ecosystem? When we did our, our question for you guys, when we did that question, that discussion question last week, I asked what was an ecosystem, you know, what are some things about ecosystem. Many of you were very confusing. I didn't totally get a, a good feel that you guys knew what an ecosystem is. And right now I don't see any hands, so I'm guessing that that's the same. How many, show of hands, how many believe that we are in an ecosystem right here? Who says no or this is not an ecosystem right here? Right here in this room. Is this an ecosystem? Who says yes, it's an ecosystem? Who says no, it's not an ecosystem? Okay. This is an ecosystem. <coughs> what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is community and its abiotic parts. That's what you're going to type in. <coughs> community and its abiotic parts. That's what an ecosystem is. Now, some of you are sitting there going, okay, well, that doesn't really tell me anything, Mr. Ware, because all you really did is you took a big word called ecosystem and you gave me two more big words that I don't have a clue are. So that doesn't tell me anything. So we now have to break this definition down. So we've got an ecosystem, we've got community and abiotic parts. So first, let's look at what community means. What is a community? What is a community? A town. She says a town is a community. Could be. What else is a community? Okay, a biome could be a community. Yeah. A city could be a community. But again, you're saying you're saying these bigger realms. Let's break it down to what a community actually is. Enable editing. What is a community? Yeah. A place where like people live together and help each other out. Okay. It's biotic parts. It's biotic parts. Now, the question is, wait a second. What are biotic parts? Um. Now you're looking at what a community is. Now what is a biotic part? Does anybody know what are biotic parts? Like now she keeps going back to that biome, because that biome looks like biotic. I like your thinking. Not close, but it's good thinking. My computer's being weird. I can't okay. Like... Here's what biotic parts are. Biotic means living. Biotic means living. Yeah, go back to it. Double click. Oh, okay. And you're at the end. Yeah. You're putting biotic right now. <laughs> Biotic means living. Biotic means living. Guys, some of you are a little confused with Excel. Again, the way Excel works, it's about the cell. So once you click in a cell and you hit enter and you're out of the cell, you have to double click to get back in the cell to type something else in it. Okay? So make sure you type the right thing the first time and then it'll be easier to navigate. Biotic means living. Now, some of you are going to learn that bio, B-I-O, is a Greek word meaning what? Greek word meaning... What is bio? Greek word meaning... It's already in there. You just follow your notes. Greek word, bio means Greek word meaning what? Yeah. Life. Not living. Life. 
Okay? So all the things that are biotic are living. They're alive. So, Miss Alby. Is a dog biotic? Yes. Zach is grass biotic? Yes. Tessa is a skunk biotic? Okay, Tessa, here's the question. I'm driving along the street, because I drive to work every day in my truck, and all of a sudden I see this skunk across the side. And he's having a good old time, you know, just kind of, then BAM! I hit him. You get a skunk? Now he's dead in the middle of the road. <coughs> Is he still biotic? You're right. He is. Even though he's dead, he still once was alive. So therefore, he is a biotic being. He is biotic. Okay? Just like this desk is biotic. Okay? It once was a tree. So therefore, it is biotic. The reason why we're not calling them not biotic is because of what the next term that we're going to learn is called abiotic. Abiotic, A is a Greek word meaning non or no or none. So abiotic means none. You got to enable editing. Now go back to it. So A means non or none. Last year, you guys learned this term, but you really didn't, you didn't probably go into detail about it. This year, we're going to see a lot of words used with the letter A in front. Okay? And that means none or, or not. Here's the thing. How many of you last year remember when you were talking about the oceans, you talked about the photic zone? What was the, what was the photic zone? What's the photic zone in the ocean? You don't remember? What was the photic zone? Yes. Where there was light. The photic zone means light, right? Photo means light. What's the a photic zone? The a photic zone. The zone that doesn't have a lot of light. The zone that doesn't have light at all. There's the photic zone, and then after this certain line, there's the a photic zone. And you guys remember this because you watch Finding Nemo and Dory's just. <laughs> right? What do we do? We so Right? You guys remember that? Yeah. You've all seen that? Okay. Guys, aphotic means no light. Abiotic means no life, no living. What are some things that are not living? The sun is not alive. The sun is not going to grab you someday in the middle of the day and say, Stop it! No. The, grab, the sun is not going to talk to you. The clouds are not going to, okay, even though in Dairy Queen commercials they go, hey, no. The clouds, they really don't talk, all right? Dirt does not talk. Dirt is not alive. And rocks are not alive. The air we breathe is not alive. Take a deep breath in. It's not alive. Thank goodness, too, because if it did, then we'd be fighting the air for oxygen. Give me that oxygen. I need to breathe. Okay? We don't want that. Abiotic factors, abiotic parts, are parts that are non-living. Things that many of us take for granted. Let's go previous. So, looking at the definition as a whole. Ecosystem is a community of biotic and abiotic parts. All these things now together, now we look at it as a big picture. All these things in this room... We have a lot of biotic parts in this room. A lot of things that are alive. We got all you people, me, the little mouse that keeps running back and forth from room to room. So we've got that going on. We've got bacteria. We've got what Valerie stepped on during uh, recess today, and it's got something really gross on the bottom that has germs and stuff growing, right? Okay. We've got all these things that are in this room right now, and that's our community. What are the abiotic factors? The air, the bricks, okay, the concrete, the, the, the uh, electronics. Many of those are abiotic. So what about biodiversity? Biodiversity is going to be our theme this year, or this week. 
what is biodiversity? First off, let's ask a few questions. Which do you like better in a show of hands? Raise your hand for A. Who says B is better? Okay. Who says A is better? Who says B is better? Who says A? Who says B? Okay, who says A is better? Who says B is better? Who says A is better? Who says B is better? Who says A is better? Who says B is better? Who says A is better? Who says B is better? Looking at those pictures, the majority of you always chose B. So what does biodiversity mean? Well, we just talked about it. Bio is a Greek word meaning? Life. Bio is a Greek word meaning life. Diversity, though, means? Dead. Variety. Some of you will say different. But it's variety. So diversity means variety. That means there's a difference in them. There's, there's many different types. So life in variety. So here's our overall definition. Biodiversity is a variety of life on earth. Biodiversity is variety of life on earth. Now as you type this, here's a few little facts that you don't need to have written down, but may be good to know. Scientists estimate there's about 200, 2 million species found today on Earth. And they believe that there's about tens of millions still out there to be observed for the first time. That's a lot. The, the tremendous variety of life on Earth has made it possible for complex interactions between different species and a lot of things that we take for granted are the microscopic species. For instance, show of hands, or actually, no, let's just, I'll just ask a question here. Paul, what percentage of oxygen, or what percent of all the oxygen on Earth comes from trees? <laughs> I would say 100%, right? Is that what you said? Try one. 1%. One Most of you don't even realize this. Most of you give credit to the plants and the trees to give us oxygen, but we don't get our oxygen from the plants and trees. We get our oxygen from the ocean. We get our oxygen from the ocean. Tiny microscopic little organisms in the ocean that go through photosynthesis and create oxygen. 75% of the world is covered in ocean. We get our oxygen from the ocean. That tree that you planted out in the backyard maybe gives you 1%. That's it. So when you take a deep breath, that oxygen, 99% of it, is coming from the ocean. So that's something we take for granted. And a lot of you don't even realize that. So let me go back one. There are three components. Three components of biodiversity. The first component is diversity in genes. So we have a variety of genes. And this is what makes bio means life. Diversity means variety. Diversity in genes. This is most of us understand this. This is why our families all look the same. Members of my family all look similar. Not the same exactly, but we look similar. Member members of your family probably look similar as well. Because your genetic makeup is similar. Rottweilers don't look anything like a chihuahua. But are they still dogs? Yes. Yes. It's because of the variation of genes. It's because of the diversity of genes. The second component, diversity of species. The variety of species. So the diversity of species. Now, in a given area, we have different species. We have plants. We have animals. We have fungus. We have the thing that's growing on her shoe. Okay? 
We have all that. We have various species. Yes. The tan. Last component, <coughs> variety of ecosystems. All ecosystems are different. You could say an ecosystem is the universe. You could say the ecosystem is the solar system. You could say an ecosystem is the earth. You could say an ecosystem is the creek. You could say an ecosystem is in this room. You could cry on your finger and say an ecosystem is in that little tear. An ecosystem can be as big or as small as you want it to be. It just depends on how you break down the biotic parts and the abiotic parts. For instance, we take the creek. What's the abiotic part that's different than this ecosystem and the creek? What's the one big thing that's different? Mr. Vale? What's the big missing abiotic part that's not in this room that's out there in the creek? Come on, people. Plants. Not plants. I've got a cactus over there. There's a plant. Where is this? Oh, that's a small cactus. Rocks. Okay. Well, well, yeah, but let's come on now. Water. Right? Water. Thursday. Isn't it? Isn't it a creek? Don't, don't they have running water in a creek? Yeah, unless it's do dry. Do I see any running water in here? Okay. No. Unless okay. It's dry. I do not see any running water. That's the major difference between the two. Is this an ecosystem? Yes. yes. Is that an ecosystem? Yes. Yes. Again, which you like better? Which is more diverse, A or B? B. B. Which is more diverse now? B. What about now? B. from biodiversity guys we get oxygen we get food we get uh, you know clean water we get medicines we get aesthetics it looks nice we get ideas and that's all from biodiversity here's a fact that you may want to jot down or just make sure you remember this is going to be our focus this week biodiversity we are losing species at an alarming rate. Some last, last reported case was uh, studies showing that we are losing three species per hour on Earth. Whoa, whoa. That means in a year's time, there's over 20,000 species that will become extinct. Many of them we would have never known have even been around. With that type of rate going on, Something needs to be done. Now, granted, some of the things that you that are threatening habitat destruction. Can you really do anything about that? No, you can't. You're not going to go down to South America and tie yourself to a rainforest tree and say bulldoze me. You're not going to do that. Okay. Pollution. You can control that. Uh, species introductions. Species introductions deals with. People bringing things from other countries into our country, and then they kind of win out. That'd be like um, if, if somebody got on a plane, went to Africa, grabbed a bunch of uh, a whole pride of lions, put them on the plane, flew them to America, and just let them go in the wild. <coughs> Do you think the lion would eventually adapt and overtake all the mountain lions that are in the United States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the mountain lion is probably going to become extinct. Right? You just don't want to introduce a certain species that will overtake and ruin some of the natural species that are to our area. Global climate change. Can you do anything about that? Not really. I mean, unless you can make the world uh, cooler at some, at some point. And then exploitation. Being able to exploit like animals by poaching, and, and uh, damaging ecosystems in that way. This week, we are dealing with biodiversity. Your assignment tomorrow, or assignment today, is going to be do that ecosystem sheet. It's 10 questions on Skyward. Get that thing finished. I think I set the time, time frame 
as Wednesday. So tomorrow, by the end of the day, I want that done. If you've not turned in your biome sheet to me, and you know you've got it at home, you need to turn that into Edmodo tonight by 7 p.m. It's got to be turned in by that time. Okay? So it's got to be turned in at that time. If you do not have internet at home, you don't have access, you have something going on, you need to make sure you come get a pass before study hall today from me so you can go work on the computers. Now, I appreciate all of you guys that spent time and did your homework over the internet this weekend so it opens up computers for people uh, during study hall time. Because by if you guys didn't do that, then everybody would be wanting to go to the computer lab, getting this thing done and turned in, and it would be chaos. So I appreciate you guys doing that uh, online at, at, over the weekend. All right? Yeah.